so so I don't know if I'm going to touch all that Paul McCartney interview that I saw on GQ because that thing was woo. I mean, I don't drink, but that made me drunk. I couldn't believe some of the stuff he said. But anyway, I will address this one. He got he got some clap back on Quincy Jones because Quincy Jones said he was the worst bass player and called the Beatles and almost non-playing so-and-so, et cetera. And Paul McCartney said he's off his rocker. He said Quincy Jones called him up, told him about the story wasn't true and all that. And he said he's old, he's 85, and he probably was getting senile. Because Quincy Jones was babbling about a lot of stuff, dissing Michael Jackson, and he took some shots at Paul. Paul McCartney is one of the greatest songwriters ever. I'm not the biggest Beatles fan, but look, you can't even argue about those songs. That's why them people still sell, that's why people still be feeling them songs to this day, because the Beatles wrote great songs, and McCartney is one of the top tier songwriters ever. And he was a good bass player, but he was a greater songwriter. You can't even front on yesterday. Them songs, Long Winding Road, them songs are standards. I mean, come on now. Quincy Jones, in fact, when he co-produced Off the Wall with Michael Jackson, when he sat there with him, one of the songs they picked for the first record was Girlfriend, which was a Paul McCartney original he did with Wings, and they had Michael recut it. Then the following year, the girl is mine. And so he thought some of them, you know, so how you going to sit there and talk smack about a cat that was beneficial for business purposes? If it's good for business, it's good for your pocket. And when it's good for your pocket, that's good for life, right? That's how you know Quincy Jones ain't no pimp. He don't think they ain't no real player because you can't be bad mouthing the help, <clears throat> especially when you're trying to get the help. And you working and you trying to get these pockets fed, you can't be talking out of pocket. So I like when Paul McCartney said he's off his tree, you know, and he said, I ain't the worst bass player. So, you know, I thought <clears throat> I like it when real musicians go at it with one another because I say real because a lot of this garbage out here now ain't no music. It's just some turkeys that figured out how to flip a beat on the Cassio or program, drive on their computer or something, and they flip some stuff. They ain't no playing, though. But to hear Paul McCartney's talking, yeah, hey, look, Quincy, I'm going to clap back on you. I like that. So I thought that was very much needed, you know, because Quincy Jones, yeah, he's a great, uh, important musical figure, but he wouldn't, most people only care about him because of associates with Michael Jackson. Let's stop, stop faking the funk. And you did need Paul McCartney, on a couple of them, on a couple of projects, so don't act like Paul wasn't helping with your pockets. So I'm glad Paul McCartney got some clap back on Quincy Jones, cause he's like, look, I ain't the worst bass player, mate, and I can play. And you know about the song, right? You know, you know that don't lie. So all right, props to Paul McCartney for getting some clap back on Quincy Jones. Peace.